I washed my hair and I conditioned it. It's the VO5 Herbal Escapes 5. It sounds so weird in here. <laughs> in the bathroom. Anyways, I washed it with these two products. I'm going to do my wash day routine sometime later on within the next two weeks or so. So, yeah. Washed it with these two. And this week I conditioned it with this. So, yeah, my wash day routine will be uploaded sometime. Just later, not right now, okay? Wait on there, but I asked y'all which I wanted to see first, the wash day routine or the uh, how I straighten my hair thing. And y'all wanted to see how I straighten my hair, so that's what I'm going to show y'all. I really planned on wearing a flexi rod set, but I was like, shoot, let me just straighten my hair. <laughs> so maybe next week I'll do a flexi rod set. I'm going to put some of this in my hair. This is the icy uh, heat protectant stuff. So I strained it in, I'm gonna strain it in four section in four different sections. I'm not gonna show y'all me putting my hair in four sections. That's just whack. Y'all know how to put your hair in sections, right? So just taking about a nickel size amount and I'm gonna apply that into each section because I'm not gonna really put anything else in my hair because I want it to really be like silky and straight. But I do work with this really, really good to get that in my hair. Or I'm gonna just comb it out. This is how long my hair is, right here. But for some reason, when I actually straighten it and wear it, it doesn't look that way. It just looks like, ooh, way up there. But yeah, then when I blow dry, I use this blow dry right here. This is the Conair 1875, or at least that's what it used to say. And I'm going to use this powder brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Got her in it, but I don't care. I just do like this with it. Don't pull it out everywhere because you, your hair is not going to be everywhere when you finish it. You want it to be right here, so I blow dry it right here. And the reason I blow dry my hair this way is because it gets it more straight. So then when I flat iron it, it's even more straight versus air drying and all that kind of stuff. Not bashing it about air drying. I'm just saying this is just how I do it. y'all watch me blow dry my entire head I wouldn't watch nobody blow dry their entire head even though I wear my part on um, mostly on this side I go ahead and I blow dry towards the middle so that way when I move this section over here it'll kind of be like you'll see when I finish but I blow dry it in the middle even though I part it that way just for like a lift it's, when I go in I go in like at the root then I start pulling it out Cause if you got new growth, it's gonna kind of stretch that a little bit. Cause you don't want to have to just you don't want to be working with the flutter all day just because your hair not even straight to begin with. So yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so I finished flattering. I mean, I flattering. <laughs> finished blow drying my hair. This is the way it looks like. Since everybody seem to do that when they finish blow drying. <laughs> blow dry it out. These are the flat irons that I got for Christmas. These are the ones that I'm going to be using. They're called Ionica Professional Hair Styling. And it goes all the way up to 450 degrees, but I'm not going to strain it on it. The lowest that it goes is 140, so... But what I usually do, I just go to 140 and twist it just a little bit. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I straighten my hair, when I straighten my own hair, I'm really lazy with it. So, I take small sections, but like I said, I am lazy with this. I try to get as close to the root as possible. So, after I finish a section... I like to go ahead and curl it because I don't really like how my hair looks straight. That's my hair straight, but what I like to do, I take it in sections, just about two. Go over the entire section as a whole. You don't really have to, but that's what I do. Then I just roll it up.
our fillets and you all will see what happens. See the size of it? show y'all now how I curl the front don't bash my flat iron routine okay just don't so pretty much what I do to curl my hair and I hold the flat iron like this then I turn it in like that ah it's hot keep holding it and twist pull down keep twisting and it does that right there don't mess with it at all. If you want it to be able to pop back into place every morning, don't mess with it. Just let it stay right there. Right now. And as I get to the top, I, uh, as I get to the top, I curl more. More and more and more. So the first day that you do it, it looks really, really pretty. But since I don't curl it every day, I just preserve it at night by way of a pin curl. Then it's more loose-like. It's still cute. Don't mess with this. Just let this sit and cool. If you want it to be solid, then just don't mess with it. I'm going to take my <coughs> Luster's Pink Sheen. This is not a holding spray. It's just a little oil sheen. I'm not going to spray that side until I finish with it. This side is more hard for me to do. Most times, I don't really curl both sides of my hair. This way, this way. Put it in. You pull, it's like you're pulling it down. If you have to move your head like I'm doing, do this. I don't know, just do what you gotta do to get your hair right. Okay, last time. If I was flat, if I was straightening it, I would be holding it this way. But I'm not straightening it, I'm curling it this time. So I'm gonna take it, flip my hand over that way, stick the hair in there. I'm closer towards the top now, so I'm gonna go more towards the top of my head. The bottom pieces don't really have to be curled all over because these going to fall over there. Bada bing, bada boom. You can fix all that if you want to. Spray this side. Now I'm going to let all of my hair down and I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. What it's, what it's looking like. And of course it's going to look better after I wrap it. I ain't going to be too stingy with the oil sheen, but in a way I kind of am because I want my hair to still be like, like that, you know. When it blowing, you gotta be like, whew, take out my specs to get it real silky. Like, it's wrap it, unwrap it. It's gonna be perfectly like swoopy, like curves or something. If you just wanted to brush this or something, this is how I brush it. That's how it looked on the photo, cause I brushed it out as one. I insert the photo so that you can see what I'm talking about. But this is what it was. All of it wasn't curled. Just the front of it was curled, and the rest of it was just in a wrap. My, I don't know, it just makes my wrap more, you know. I could sit at school and just do this all day if I wanted to. <laughs> and I do sometimes. Because <laughs> I know it's going to go back into place. But over time, it is going to fall lower and lower and lower. But right now, it's like perfect. And you can just run your fingers through it. I can pull it all the way back and do this, that. You know, it's just whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, I'm going to show you out in a different video how I preserve my hair and wrap it at night. I've been looking at the viewfinder this entire time, so I apologize. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I couldn't really show y'all how I straighten the back because I would just screw things up and not get my hair right, and I just don't want to go over it more than once. This is how I do my hair. Hope y'all like it. Because <laughs> I do. Mm -mm. I'm always dancing. That's all. If y'all have any questions about anything that I didn't answer in this video, then let me know because I just forget what to say. When I record, I just, like, be in the moment. I don't have a list of stuff to say in my videos. Anyway, this is my hair, y'all, okay? My ends need to be trimmed. Don't bash me for the way I flutter in my hair. How many times I flutter in my hair? I don't know. I don't care. It's my hair. I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye. Yes. Yeah. You found? Yeah. You okay. gonna put this in your and video as a blooper? I don't know, Julia. You gonna have me starring in it this time? <laughs> You're not starring. Bro, you ain't gonna put me in the video. You just interrupting me. Come on, come on. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. In here. How you doing? No. Are you 
Are you naked? No. Can I come in? Yeah. Are you film? Yeah. You oh. can come in though. I tried to uh show your I tried to show your channel some love, but I cut it off cause you made me mad. <laughs> what I do? Cause it like so in one video and it's gonna go to the next video and I don't like that. You can't um, make me watch you. Mm. So I cut it up. I don't gotta sit up that way. It just do that, I guess. Well, it made me mad. I couldn't even scroll down and comment cause it went to the next one, so I would like forget it. So I'm gonna okay. unsubscribe to you. Uh, I take small sections. Is this in camera? Mm -hmm. okay. Take small sections like that. I did Jamie's hair earlier. This hair right there. Oh, they can see me. It ain't been. <laughs> yeah, they can see. Me. It ain't been combed out yet, so don't try to be trying to glance in her hair. Yeah. All I did was like I just flat ironed it, just like I'm doing mine. The same technique on Jamie's hair. Curled it in the front. Hey, I just I'm really lazy when it comes to straightening my own hair. I do other people's like really well not other people just my mom and my sisters. I do theirs real good, but on me I just be like whatever. Plus my hair is so thin I can kind of just like get away with not doing it real nice. You want me to do your hair? Huh? Huh? Want me to do your hair? Nah, I got it. You might need to do a little trimming though. My ends do need to be trimmed, but no, I'm saying I'm about to take off at least two inches or so. I mean. Yeah, I don't need no two inches taken off. I'm about to the baby shop. Finna <laughs> go, I need some need. Finna make my go. Give me some McDonald's. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs>